welcome back to another video. Now today we're playing. Uh, well, now we're playing uh, Universe Sandbox City. This is Universe Sandbox. Yeah, I I've been playing too much City Skylines. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can destroy. Uh, I, I'm gonna see if I can destroy. Um, Jupiter. Nah. Twenty. Uh. Uh. I I put so much water on Jupiter that it turned into a star. That makes sense. How does that work? What happens if I add even more water? This is weird. I might actually do some City Skylines videos. If Jupiter turned into a star because you threw loads of water at it, it would be very unstable because... Uh, how big is it? I, I want to see how big it is now. It, Jupiter, it's four times the radius of the sun, but it's half the mass of the sun. What happens if I make it the lowest possible heat? I'm sure that it was 273, not 273. This, this is what a star would look like if it was negative 270 degrees Celsius. Uh, it, uh, I should probably heat it back up to 3000 because that's the heat of the star is a lot of the time while well, a little star is usually 3000 but say you can melee weapon are you playing games mod okay what else can i i never saw that but if i zoom out i don't know what that is Okay, I guess so. Can I? Oh, Jupiter doesn't want to be in the solar system anymore. It's just like, bye. I'm, a, I'm a, my own star now. Okay. What happens if I flood Earth with iron? Flood Earth with iron. It doesn't. So I, I also need to have the moon. Uh, how far does the moon orbit? No, that's dwarf planets. Moon. I, 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 it doesn't really matter how far it orbits. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So. Here my little earth is. Now I shall destroy you with either. That I think it would just be a better idea doing it with. Where's iron? Oh, there's iron. Okay. And it can't be that much. Could it be. Uh, um, uh, 20 kilograms? of iron at a time but yeah the reason that i said oop was because i have my guinea pig okay 200 kilograms what will this do will it destroy the earth mm. 2000 kilograms uh it's starting to make dents in the ocean where it hits Okay, uh, 
but about 20,000. Not much different. Do I do that times 10? Yeah, why not? I, I, I don't even want to read that right now. Times 10. Oh, it probably needs to be on auto now because... Why not? How many moons is this? Oh, I'm gonna shoot. If, if the moon was made out of iron and it hit up, no, 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 one. If it is, and speed that. What was that? I objects per second one. So I think that's basic. Oh, ten moons. Uh, uh, yeah. The whole earth is just gonna turn blue now. Okay. I want to see if it can, if 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 I cool it down down enough, it will actually be able to hold life. Well, if it could hold life, because it obviously wouldn't after this. But mm, I'm pretty sure it's in surface. Is the earth? Is that? Is that? Potion. Where's all this iron that I just hit it with? I wanna see where all the iron went. Is this just... This is probably some of the iron that I shot at it. Okay, I guess so. Open existing simulation. This will totally not break the game. It's one million years per second. This is how fast it's going. Can I speed that up a bit or is it on the max speed? It will let me. No, it's not. No, 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 no. It needs to slow down a bit for the actual collision it's gonna collide you'll see and I think will it make a new galaxy or will it just I have a feeling that it'll make a, 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 an, an explosion comment if you think it will make a new galaxy because it's froze um. So we have the Milky Way and the Andronima. That's the Andronima, and that's the Milky Way. Uh, well, they've hit. Then that's not where. That's definitely not where parts of it went. So, is this now? A, is this basically just a galaxy now? Or? Oh, it's just gone poof. I thought they went. I thought that. It went poof, but I wasn't sure. I thought they might have made another galaxy, but it went poof. With beetle juice instead of the sun, that seems interesting. Uh, uh, if, where's Earth? Uh, Pluto is pretty much. Why, uh, yeah, oh, Neptune is pretty much where Earth would be. Maybe, maybe a bit further out because this is Beetlejuice. So I think, like, to actually be habitable, it would have to be like here because it's Beetlejuice, very bright and hot. 
Neptune is, yeah, and Neptune is burning. You won't want to go there, I think. Wait, where's Jupiter? Well, Jupiter smashed into. What about, no, no, Jupiter's there. Oh, that's hot. Sat no, no, that's not sad. What about Uranus? Why did I say it like that? I don't know, I just... Okay. Next simulation, this is just me messing about. Okay. Where in space is the Tesla Roadster? <coughs> oh yeah. Uh, um, oh, that, that, wait, I'm not sure if it, this probably, this probably is actually correct. This is where the Tesla Roadster is. It's a very small Tesla Roadster in just the middle of space. It's quite close to Earth. Well, in its orbit, the orbit's quite close to Earth, but... Mm. Wait, what's that red line? Uh, uh, it's quite close to Eris's orbit. Why, why is Eris's orbit like that? <sighs> but... What would happen if the Tesla Roadster just slapped into... Uh, the, the, the main Tesla factory. That'd be funny, but it probably wouldn't happen. <laughs> Planets between the Earth and the Moon. Oh, so this is. I, I think this is what it would look like if all the. If in. Uh, that's what. Oh, okay. What happens? Wait, is it? Is it? Oh, uh. Oh. Uranus and Neptune and Jupiter are gonna be battered by Saturn's ring. Okay, I guess so. That's fair. Saturn, fair play. It's using its surrounding rings. Maybe I should give Jupiter Jupiter's rings. And Uranus, Uranus's rings. Because I bet that you didn't know, but they all had rings. They're just so small that there's not much point in drawing them. The, the, the asteroid belt. Yeah. Yeah. Asteroid belt time. Asteroid belt time. Where is the asteroid belt? Okay. Yeah. Realistic. I don't know what that does. I know. I just wanna. Ooh. Black hole. Is that a black hole? It doesn't look very black to me doesn't look very black to me doesn't look very black to me hmm what else can I do ah black Wait, when when I just go into collisions? Ouch! Jupiter and Earth and Earth. Will it make a bigger Earth? Will it make a load of space debris? Who knows? Well, it made quite a bit of space debris, but it just made a big graph. <laughs> Look at all the space debris. Look, some of these are like the size of the moon. Or oh, they, they look like they're the size of the moon. They're probably not, but you know what I mean. And I said some of these. Are, this is probably the biggest one. Oh, yeah, that's my guinea pig. 
that the other squeaks on my brother. What? Why did you say that? Why? What if we like? <laughs> Wait, this this fragment is bigger than the moon. So this <laughs> and it's heavier than the moon. This could literally become bigger than the moon. Well, it is bigger than the moon, but it could become even bigger because everyone loves space debris hitting other space debris, which makes bigger space debris. Yay. Wait, is it actually gonna hit anything? <laughs> it looks pretty round, why don't I call it now? It's like 13 degrees. It's a rock in space. I could call this uh Sure, that's a good name, Macaroni Moon. I'm pretty sure I spelled it wrong, but who cares? I'll just uh uh sun and no, that probably won't do much. Earth and Moon real time. So this should be a second per second. If it's not a second per second, I'm gonna be mad. Yes, it is a second per second. For you, it didn't lie to me. And this guinea pig is playing around. What is the moon doing? Oh, it's so weird. It's, it's 12 seconds and it's pretty much hit, but that was because it was pretty much. Why do I, yeah. Wait, I think it's started to heat up the earth, it's just not properly hit yet. Okay, at least we have like, if, it, if the moon did hit off anywhere, we would have like an hour to escape. <laughs> I'll speed it up a bit, a bit. Okay, now you can actually see it moving. Now it's one and a half seconds. Ah. Uh, this is really not entertaining. Ah, I don't like not entertaining stuff. Earth and moon, but it's hit by the moon five times. Yeah, why not? What? I didn't expect that. Okay, everyone on Earth is now dead. Yay. Not yay. Well, Earth itself is pretty much dead. I don't know what, what we can do to save it. Wait, cut it. Could it have life on it? Oh, right now. I right, cooled it down. The moon's probably messed up the uh, atmosphere. Okay. An overview. Mm. Place object. Hmm. Imagine if it just replaced it with Earth because Earth is a random rocky object. That would be weird, but... What else can we do? Neptune and Neptune. Sounds good. I'll do it. And get... Uh, Okay. Ooh. G. 
Jupiter and Jupiter, will the same thing happen? Will something different happen? And where? It kept the big spot. It just looks exactly the same over there. It's obviously a bit bigger. Sun and Jupiter, 20 Jupiters. Uh, what's this? What? what? Why are all the suns getting so much bigger? Oh, probably because they're, they're getting a lot more hydrogen. And the suns are about to hit each other. No, don't hit. Want to see this? Uh, uh, I think they computer froze after that. Three suns going supernova at the same time does not do anything good for your computer at all. Bye guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I might need to close Universe Sandbox after this.